Hey y'all, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Jed Renee and today I'm going to be showing you and teaching you how I made 10k in only 4 months. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoy it and let's get straight into the video. that I generated many of my sales is through promoting by promoting my business so first let's start off with your content you want to make sure that you're making quality content it's entertaining it's informative and it's just making people want to come and buy your products your products look good on Instagram on TikTok so the way you showcase them the way that they look or the way that they're being used or even the reviews that you are receiving this is part of promoting. Second thing is marketing tactics. Using emails. Emails help generate, of course, our older audience that like to use emails. SMS texting is going to be more to the younger audience that are always on their phone, receiving text messages. And then you also have your social media platforms such as Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, TikTok, whichever one you decide to use. So you can promote your business through Instagram and Facebook ads. That brings me into the third thing, what it's like using ads. I personally use ads on Facebook and Instagram, but morally Instagram. So I'm going to give you some background on that. Using ads did not really help me revenue a lot of sales. What it did was bring more attention to a specific post, the post that I promoted, and I gained some followers, a couple of likes, but that's really it. When you're promoting a post on Instagram, you want to make sure you are using Instagram Shop. This way that people can click on the picture and then they can click on the product and then they can purchase straight from the picture. This is going to help you a lot. Second thing is when you are setting up to boost your Instagram post, it's going to give you an audience where to target and you're going to go in and set all that up. You're going to set in what age, what area, or what category that your business may run in. This is going to help Instagram's algorithm push out your product to your target audience. So that brings us into the second big part, catching customers. You want to make sure you know your target audience. I'm sure we've heard of the term target audience before, but if we haven't, Target audience are basically people that want to buy your products, your specific audience. I sell with body butters. So my target audience isn't going to contain grown men and little babies. They don't really need products. Well, men don't want products up their skin, but babies really have good skin, so they don't really need these products. I'm focusing on women who love to smell good, who care about their hygiene, and are older women that are looking to repair their skin, rejuvenate it, and things like that. So if you sell lip gloss, you know your target audience isn't going to be men or young boys. You want to make sure you know who you are attracting and who you're going for. This is going to help you on platforms on social media platforms. Make sure you are using hashtags that pertain to your business so don't just use small business owner hashtag because that doesn't really help the algorithm depict on where it wants your pictures to go. You want to use hashtags that simply pertain to your business. Hashtag lip gloss owner. Hashtag CEO lip gloss owner. Things like that. So you can also gain new audience at local pop-up shops, flea markets, or shopping markets that are held in your hometown or other towns. You can travel to bigger states or bigger cities that hold these and this is going to help you get your business out there. This is a great strategy, this is a great technique, and I highly advise you to do it. I know some people just like to sit at home all day, sit behind the computer, sit behind the desk, but girl, you got to go out there and you got to get everybody that you can because you want people to know about your business and this is how you're going to be successful. So now that you got your customers, let's keep them coming back. 
If you use Shopify for your website, Shopify has apps to help you keep your returning customers. Also, you can use the rewards program. I use a loyalty program so that way my customers gain points every time they purchase and they get points for their birthdays and they can use these coupons to get a discounted price off their next order. Also, discount codes. Whenever you have thank you cards, it's a pretty good idea to put a discount code so that way your customers come back if they enjoy your products and also they get money off their next order. Who doesn't want money off? The next thing and one of the greatest thing is, but this one is going to cost you some money, is giving out free items. So say for instance a new collection is coming up but you're still selling your old collection. Giving out one product of your new collection to a valuable customer or somebody who has never purchased from you is going to help them smell this scent or try out this new product and then if they like it so much they'll go back and buy it again. Also whenever you see receive free items from anybody that makes you want to come back because of the appreciation that you were shown just by getting a free item. That brings us to the end of this video. Also, don't forget about my giveaway. The rules are posted on my last packaging orders video and they're going to be linked down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you for tuning in to the end. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'm going to see y'all later. Bye.